This video covers sigma notation, a concept found in IBMS AI in topic one, number and algebra, which is grouped under the subtopic of sequences and series. So, so far in sequences and series, you would have covered arithmetic sequences and series, geometric sequences and series, finding term values and finding sum of term values. This is another concept added on, which is around a different type of notation to show the sum of a certain number of, of terms in a sequence. And this is called sigma notation. Now there are a few examples here on the left-hand side, both with uh, actual numbers, and then we have the sort of actual notation. Now it looks quite complicated, and you may have seen these in, in maths movies like A Beautiful Mind or uh, Goodwill Hunting potentially, uh, written up on maybe a window or a whiteboard, and it looks really complicated, but it's actually not. It's just a concise way of writing out the sum of a certain number of terms in a sequence. So let's talk through an example here. So we have this symbol here. This is a Greek letter called sigma. It's like a big kind of reverse S. Now we have a few different parts to it. This, this, this symbol itself actually means sum. Now we have a, um, a number on the bottom of the symbol. So this would be say uh, K, no, I'll get to why we use K, but K is equal to one. Now this is known as our starting point. And then we have a number at the top, let's say it's uh, four, and this here would be our end point. And let's say our actual formula that we're trying to find out is, let's just say it is k plus three. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, we have this formula here, k plus three. Now we're going to start at a k value of one, and we're going to end at a k value of four. So let's talk through how we how we compute this. Well, the first term we're going to substitute in k equals to equals one, so it's going to be one plus three. So this here is when k is equal to one. Now again, sigma means sum, so we're now going to add the next term in the sequence, which will be so add, and we go up by whole numbers. So it's going to be two plus three. So this has a k value of two plus three plus three, so that's a k value of three, plus four plus three, so that's a k value of four. Now, do we keep adding? Do we go again? Do we go to k equals five? Well, we don't because we know it has an end point when k is equal to four. So we actually end at this point here. And we can find out what that is. That is four plus, and this one here is five plus, six plus seven, and that is equal to nine, 15, 22. So you can see here, this, although it looks complicated, there's just a concise way to say, hey, we have K plus three here is my formula. I want to start at three and end at four and sum all of the terms up. And that's just sort of how it plays out there. And it gets a final answer here of 22. Okay, let's quickly go through another one. So I have a sigma, symbol here meaning sum. Let's go from a starting point of k is equal to three. Let's end it at six. And my formula here is one on, let's say three to the power of k. Okay, so the first term will be one on three to the power of, so one on three to the power of. Now it's not going to be to the power of one this time because I'm actually starting at three. So it's gonna be one on three to the power of three. So this is a k value of three plus one on three to the power of four, plus one on three to the power of five, plus one on three to the power of six. And I stop there because my end point, my end value for K is six. And you can use your calculator to find the result of that. I have entered that there, hit enter, and the result is 40 on 729. Okay, that concludes our video on sigma notation.